Salutations, sentient beings. Today we'll be giving a message to Josh Saunders, a.k.a. King Cobra JFS. We've been watching him from a distance and occasionally made other videos trying to explain the situations he keeps getting himself into. Our message is in response to his apology video and other drama he has been experiencing lately. Hello, YouTubers. It's your boy, King Cobra, back at it with another video. And I broke my goddamn phone. This is the third or fourth phone he's broken this year. Josh, you need to spend money on a strong case for your next phone. We would also recommend losing your rings. They've only served to help you destroy at least two of the prior phones. We know you like how they make you look, but Josh, what would you like more? Your gothish fashion choices or not having to beg for money to replace yet another phone? Of course, you most likely won't, because you think you simply won't damage another phone. Look back on how that has worked out for you so far. I didn't want to break it. I did not want to break my phone. I hate breaking my phone. But you do it so often. I want to need at least 200 some odd dollars to replace it. Hence this video. I hate this. I fucking hate this. It means more begging. It happened last night, which... When you were drunk. I was having a great night last night, you know? Blacking out. Hanging out at the bar, doing my thing. Paying too much for booze. And then when I got a ride back to my place, I couldn't find my car. So your phone got cute. And... You drunkenly raged out. I wasn't trying to freak out the cab driver. I really wasn't. But you did. So if anyone or anything happened, I apologize. Blackout apology. Good man. So, to summarize, Josh got smashed at a bar, couldn't find his payment card for the cab ride, and raged out at an inanimate object. We've seen that happen before more than once. He looks like he's been sleeping in those clothes. Probably because he has. Now he's back on stream, hoping someone will send him money to replace the phone, again. Ladies and gentlemen, if you send him $200, he will buy the cheapest phone possible and spend the rest on booze. Note how his ego keeps him from outright asking. Well, we have some ideas about this and your life in general. I don't know, YouTube, like... Maybe you are simply drinking your life away. Perhaps all the garbage you eat and slurp is making you feel like fecal matter? I don't know what to do. I, I'm so disappointed in myself. You know? You can stop drinking so much. Like, I wasn't trying to freak anyone out. But you were drunk. The, the cab driver I had this last night was super awesome. It, it doesn't matter what, what company I went to. To get a ride back from the bar, it doesn't matter. You can't say who it was because, you know, you have tens of thousands of trolls just waiting to screw them over. I'm not going to be able to do cooking videos to talk to anyone or anything until I get my phone back. We will say this for him. He's a much better beggar than Dark Side Phil. I mean... I, I, now, I can't even do cameos now because my phone's broke. Okay? It's so frustrating, dude. I hate when I break my phone. I fucking absolutely hate it. You hate it because it means you have to come on stream and do, well, this. Josh, you may not mean to do the things you've done when you sober up. However, we've seen you wasted and you very much mean to do the angry things you do. While you're drunk, any self-control you have goes away. You can't control your rage. You know you have anger issues. You also should know they are especially evident when you drink. You have been in this cycle for years, everyone but you sees it. All I can say is I'm sorry. You could also say you're going to do something to keep it from repeating. 
again. I'm not going to be able to do cameo shout outs until I get my phone replaced. And honestly, it's so goddamn frustrating. It really is. At this point, Josh, you're the worst you have ever been. We all know you are lying about Jessica being there. Her presence explains the sudden appearance of that fold-out chair. It also explains the especially fast rate you burned through your recent donations. Oh, sure, you want us to believe she isn't live-streaming because she's trying to deny Jessica Messica content. Sorry, Josh, we've seen enough of her to know she's just trying to hide her visit with you. We also know you've been blowing money on drinking at bars or drinking expensive alcohol at home like those mango beers and that tall bottle of Jack. Meanwhile, you play the poor card and say you don't have money to ship out your expensive wand. You might have had enough if you had cut some of the booze out. Lastly, while the general audience may want to believe otherwise, we know you've got a puff replacement. Josh, the terrarium in your kitchen is a dead giveaway. Why set it up with heat lamp, thermometer, vegetation and rocks simply to let it sit there. Some might believe you're hoping Puff will find you, however. Now that we know approximately where you live in relation to where Puff was last seen, we know even you aren't deluded enough to believe he's gonna find you. This new strategy of lying and deceit is the lowest you've ever been.